Aloha, welcome. My name is Master Paul, <coughs> excuse me, and I am honored to be here to serve you today. I deeply apologize for my clearing of my throat. <coughs> Hopefully it will clear up, divine order to myself, clear my throat. So aloha, welcome Tina, great to see you here today. My name is Master Paul and I am here at the Waikiki Community Center. The Waikiki Community Center is a center in Honolulu, Hawaii, and the purpose of this center is to serve humanity and all souls. The purpose of this center is what many centers around the world do like this. They are funded by the local community and they are here to allow others to come to receive guidance, wisdom, and benefits from the local teachers. <clears throat> at this center here in Waikiki, they have Tai Chi classes, they have drawing classes, they have classes for um, playing the ukulele. <coughs> Excuse me. So the, uh, the throat column, which is in relationship to the clearing of my lungs, started up just in this last 10 minutes, just prior to doing the class. So this is my form of purification. So thank you for your patience with me as I clear my throat. Today is rapidly filling up. I'd like to acknowledge Tina, uh, Yvonne, Anne-Marie, Renee, Norma. Great to see you. Also, I got to see Kristen Rojas Sena. <coughs> and there are more people that hopefully will be filtering in to the class here at the Waikiki Community Center. <coughs> Today's class, as indicated, will be on the subject of opening our hearts to self-love. Now, depending on how many people show up in the class, I may have to shift that subject. We'll see what happens. <coughs> and I hope that my throat decides to, um, to clear from the blockages that are coming through my sinuses and my lungs. It's always uh, easier to talk to you when I'm not having to clear my throat. I uh, apologize for any frustration that I'm having. As I indicated, it just started in the last 10 minutes. So welcome Suki as well. So the subject matter today is how do we open our heart and soul for self-love? Yesterday when I offered teachings and wisdom on this, we received some incredible flows from the divine. <coughs> and these flows include, um, uh, if I remember correctly, it spoke a lot about how we have adopted and accepted wrong information from our teachers, from our peers, from those in the world around us. Information that told us that love was conditional and that um, we had to go do and be a certain way, bring ourselves a certain way to people to be loved. What this produces for us is the inability to actually love ourself. It creates a condition in which we go outside of ourselves. To receive love and herein is the beginning of a great deal of problems that are related to the lack of self-love so before I go into a little bit more of the teachings and I will offer some flows as well on this subject matter uh, I found some information in one of the books that we'll be receiving a download on today as well we're going to go ahead and connect heart to heart soul to soul so place our hand in soul light soul service hand position close your eyes prepare to chant with me. Dear Divine, dear Tao, dear Source, dear my spiritual teacher and father, Master Shah, I love you, honor you, respect you, and I personally bow down to you. I ask for you please to be present at this time to allow us all to join hearts and hearts, soul to soul, that we could align more to understanding the deeper reasons why we lack self-love. Dear our individual heavens teams, guides, angels, and saints, our own soul, we love you, honor you, respect you. Could you please be with us here today? To the soul of self-love, the soul of divine love, all of my downwards and treasures, I love you. Could you please come? Turn on as appropriate. Bless me to align my heart and soul to my own soul, to self-love. Dear the source soul song of love, peace, and harmony, transmitted to all souls in all universes, 
I love you. Can you please turn on? We invite all souls in all universes to chant with us. So let us chant together love, peace, and harmony to align our hearts and souls, to open our hearts, to truly hear the wisdom and guidance that will be offered here today so that we can receive the greatest benefits. Let us chant together. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Oh, I was in early. Oh, I trod and lay warmly on her bushes strong. Strong I ping on her shade. Strong I ping on her shade. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace, and harmony. Lula, lula, li. Lula, lula, la, li. Lula, lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Lula, li, lula. Oh, I was in her lips. Oh, I trod and lay. Only he wrong her bushes shone. Strong I ping on her sin. Strong I ping on her sin. I love my heart and soul. I love all humanity. Join hearts and souls together. Love, peace, and harmony. Love, peace and harmony. How, 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 thank you, thank you, thank you. I want to acknowledge Cheryl, thank you for joining, Suki, Kristen Strachan, Yvonne, Lynette, Ruchi, Norma, Stephanie, Liz, Loveness, and Nadine, thank you all for joining. Thank you so much, love you all. Please. Uh, hit the share button so other people know that we're going live. And I am going to offer five soul readings today because I need to leave enough time to transmit a download for everybody and to use that for practice. I will offer these soul readings and then uh, we'll see if there's any additional information that can be shared at this time on the subject matter of self-worth, self-love. So please make your request. I did see one already from Kristen uh, Strachan, so I will uh, respond to that. And then uh, this is specifically on self-love. <coughs> For the soul of Kristen, Kristen's Heaven's Team, Skies, Angels, and Saints, the soul of Kristen's question on why she still suffers from a lack of worthiness. Could you please at this time come borrow my mouth Allow me to share whatever insights are necessary for Kristen to hear at this time. Thank you.
好。This is the divine, my beloved Kristen. I love you. I have always loved you. I have loved you when you have served me. I have loved you when you, in other lifetimes, have made choices to serve the other side. This unworthiness stems from a very specific karma. There is a lifetime in which you served the other side, and in that lifetime, you specifically would use the words, "You are not worthy." You would use these to crush people's egos, to lower their standards, to bring them under the power and control of that frequency of that side at that time in that lifetime. I want you to know I love you unconditionally. However, there is such a thing as the universal law of universal service. Do a little good service, receive a little blessings. Do better service, receive even higher blessings. Do unconditional service, receive unlimited blessings. There is the other side of this universal law: do bad service, receive a little lessons; do huge bad service, receive huge lessons. This lifetime and 97 in the past have been filled with this unworthiness trait. You must do significant forgiveness practice for the lifetime and a few others in which you have served. The wrong side, the side other than the light. Do not feel unique or alone in this. Almost all those on the line, and all those who will ever experience the human life, will have served the dark side at some point in time. Some as a choice of experience, some as a result of following the wrong teacher, some as a result of a wrong peer teachings, and so forth. This is another reason why there is no judgment, as all light and all dark fall underneath the umbrella of creation. So please be aware of this and do your absolute best to ask for forgiveness for that experience in those lifetimes. How? And so, Kristen, because you're a veteran, I shared um, straight what was heard.、Um, Not everybody. I would share that straightforward. Okay.、Uh, Loveness has requested, dear Master Paul, she would love a reading. <coughs> dear the soul of Loveness, Loveness Heaven's teams, guides, angels, and saints, could you please be present? Could you please assist our beloved Loveness with whatever guidance is necessary regarding the subject of self-love? Thank you. How, our dear Loveness, you have a, a unique life experience, one in which you have had a wide open heart. And in which you have had your heart closed. This has happened at least twenty times in both directions. It is a significant point to make. You must learn, my beloved daughter, to keep your heart open in all cases. The only way this is truly possible is to move more towards trust. Trust the divine. Trust the Tao and the Source. Trust your Creator. You are never alone. But when you allow your heart to close, it is because you have moved away from this trust. You have moved, for example, into. This is only an example. You have moved, for example, into a relationship or relationships, in which you moved away from Creator and put your love into another, allowing them to fulfill your heart. When an example of this occurs, you close your heart because that one it is not. Possible for them to fulfill your heart. It is only possible through connection to the divine. Your self-love and lack thereof stems from this vacillation between opening your heart and having it closed. The solution has been put forth. 
please open your heart more my beloved one do your best to keep it open especially in the trying times because that is most where I hold your heart that is most where I serve you this is the divine how 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 thank you thank you thank you thank you divine for that beautiful reading <clears throat> okay this reading is for Diraj for all those that are coming on please remember I will offer five readings and then I'm going to go ahead and go into uh, a few teachings from Master Shah's book and offer some blessings. So please, um, I apologize if I have not been able to get to you. Thank you. Dear the soul of Diraj, Diraj, Heavens, Teams, Guides, Angels and Saints, could you please offer this information at this time? Thank you. My beloved Diraj, for you, there is not too much in the way of self-love blockages. More for you, it is a long-standing but truly unnecessary concern about what you may have done wrong. You are always looking at what you can do different or better, that you have a belief that whatever you are doing is insufficient and not enough. This is an incorrect way of thinking. It is not that there is not a value in your true overall intention because your true overall intention is to serve others unconditionally. That has been your heart since you were a child. <clears throat> but what you must do is change the way you think about it and the way you approach. What would be a better way to do it is I am so honored to serve. Thank you for the great opportunity. I know that there is more I could potentially do, my beloved Creator. Please guide me and I will check in with you as often as I can to ensure I am going the right direction. I am grateful that whatever I am doing is as much as I can do in that moment and I forgive myself for believing anything other than that. And my beloved Daraj, if there are times in which you know you have not done enough, then simply apologize and do more. But I have found that in most cases, you have a very pure and open heart, a pure and open heart to serve. And that stems from your love for me, your beloved Creator. I am honored that you are such a benevolent student of Dr. and Master Shah, that you teach others this benevolency and that you serve in the way that you do. This is the divine. Ha, ha, ha. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, divine. Okay. And now I will offer a reading for Stephanie. To the soul of Stephanie Cannon, Stephanie's Heavens Teams, Angels and Saints. Please offer Stephanie this guidance specific to self-love and what is the highest guidance for her at this time my dear Stephanie you are very blessed on this day to receive this information you, my dear, have been a teacher of love in very high positions. In one lifetime, in a position, you taught information that actually caused people to be selfish. You, you taught the information in such a way that it was creating ego and it is important for everyone that is watching to know the difference between self-love and selfishness. Self-love is honoring. Self-love is a deep respect for your physical body, not saying negative things about it. A deep respect for your emotions 
and feeling uh, comfortable with expressing them even if others are not willing to hear it. Self-love and acknowledging the negativity in the mind and forgiving yourself for giving it any power. Self-love for making choices on your spiritual journey that have not served you, forgiving yourself and then making the choice to align to your spiritual journey. This is an example of self-love. Selfishness is choosing to feed yourself at the dinner table before others. Selfishness is choosing to not go out and do something when you have the time and availability to do so that is of service to others, but instead be at home and watching television. This is an example without a blame, and this example is for all souls. Your karma, my dear, stems from this. Please ask for forgiveness to all the souls that you have taught selfishness to, and then move forward with the wisdom shared. You are very loved. You are very blessed. This is the divine. Ha! Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, divine. Can somebody please post the time for me? Just one person. I'm going to ask um, uh, Yvonne. Could you please post the time for me? Okay. I will do two more readings. This one is Tina. To the soul of Tina He, Tina's Heaven's Teams, Guides, Angels, and Saints, I love you. Can you please offer Tina whatever guidance is important for her to hear at this time regarding this subject? Thank you. Hey, uh, how? My beloved Tina, your self-love issues stem in all relations to children. Being a child, being a parent to children being a grandparent to children in this lifetime and in all lifetimes. It, there is a structure within your childhood in all these lifetimes and within your um, fear of doing a good job for the children, fear of being a good mother, fear of being a good a grandmother and so forth. In some lifetimes there was a knowingness that you were not protecting the children, that there were abusive uh, husband in the life, and they were reprimanding the children in an unpleasant way, and you felt helpless. This collectiveness in these lifetimes produced in you a set of inferiority, a, a weakening, a weaklessness, if you will, like a, a soul memory that has permeated the whole of your lifetimes. In order to clear this, you must forgive yourself, my beautiful daughter. You must remember that I and all heaven offers no judgment ever to any soul ever in all creation. This is very difficult for many souls to hear, but how and why would I judge my own arm my own finger, my own heart. You are all of the divine, me. You are all in my heart, of my heart. I love you all unconditionally. It could be nothing other than that. And yet, many of you have chosen a belief other than this unconditional love for you. Please forgive yourself, my beloved Tina, for this in all lifetimes in which you have accepted worthlessness towards yourself. Allow me, my beloved one, to fulfill your heart. I am deeply honored to give you this message. This is the divine. Thank you, divine. Thank you for this message for our beloved Tina. Okay, so this is the last one I'm going to offer for Suki. And I'm scrolling down to see. Uh, okay, 525. Thank you, divine. I'm in perfect timing. So for those others that are interested in soul readings, um, it's hard to, to give full 
um, full girth and expression to the soul readings as well as individual guidance through a structure like this. Everyone is welcome if they would like to receive individual soul readings. There is an honor fee for that and you can find that on my website that's listed above the video. I'm happy to serve you in that way as well if that is of interest to you, okay? So this reading is for Suki. And this is the final one before I go into the additional teachings and additional blessings. To the soul of Suki, Suki's heavens, teams, guides, angels, and saints, I love you. Can you please borrow my mouth, offer Suki whatever wisdom information is necessary at this time. How? My beloved Suki, this is the divine. You have a good and honorable heart. You are always doing your best to make sure everyone does the right thing. It is what you teach. It is built into your moralities. You, my beloved daughter, hold a similar condition of a lack of self-love because you have somehow accepted a belief that you are not worthy enough to enter the kingdom of God. You feel that the clothes you wear, if you will, symbolically speaking, are insufficient to enter the kingdom of God. This is false teaching and false acceptance of teachings. This message also applies to many souls. A great deal of the teachings are the insufficiency to enter my kingdom. What is my kingdom? My kingdom is your kingdom. My kingdom is all creation. You are in of all creation. You were never unworthy because you were always in my creation, my kingdom. My beloved daughter, all of my children, open your hearts. Know that I have never besaked you. Know that I have never denied you. Know that I have always given you my unconditional love, especially when you are denying yourself of it. Open your heart. Forgive yourself, my beloved Suki, for adopting and accepting false information of this nature. Clear your karma by telling others of this false information. Bless them to rise above their degradation, their self-degradation. Teach them that this love is and has always been unconditional. Show them how to open their heart by singing love, peace, and harmony for others. This is how you can best self-clear these soul memories, this debt, this separation from me, from my heart, from all creation. I love all of you. This message is for all of you. This is the divine. Oh, thank you, divine. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, so thank you so much, everyone, for your patience there. I know that so many of you would like a soul reading. I wish I had the next two hours to offer that for everybody. So now what I'm going to offer is some teachings from Dr. Master Shah's Divine Transmission book, Divine Transformation. This is, without a doubt, one of my favorite books. For anyone new, Dr. and Master Shah, I believe we have some new people, I'm going to do a quick uh, short synopsis of who is Dr. Master Shah, which is where these teaching and abilities to do soul readings come from. Dr. and Master Shah is a universal servant. He is dedicated to serve humanity in all ways. See, I put his photo near the phone, all of a sudden the phone becomes a little choppy. The frequency is amazing. Okay, so Dr. Master Shah is a world-renowned healer, uh, literally all over the world. Um, he has over 20 books, 10 of which have reached New York Times bestseller. He is a grand master in all of the, the great modalities, Qi Gong, Tai Chi, Feng Shui, I Ching, uh, you name it, he has reached the highest levels in each. He is an actual doctor in Eastern uh, traditional Chinese medicine, and he is a doctor in American Western medicine. But mostly, he is a master that brings the subject of soul to human, to humanity and Mother Earth. 
heal the soul first and the mind and body follows. You heard me doing what is called uh, soul readings. Uh, a soul reading is receiving information from heaven. Uh, it can only be pure and clear if I am free of mind blockages, emotional blockages, ego blockages. I still have them, but I have worked many years to open up my spiritual channels to clear them. Dr. Master Shah teaches step by step how to open up your spiritual channels, how to clear the blockages, how to open your heart so that you can be a better person to humanity. Let me go to the blockages phone. Soul operation to the phone, to the uh, signal, so that this conversation is clear. Okay. So, Dr. Master Shah has trained well over 10,000 students worldwide, and many of them are miracle healers. I bow down to this master because he is one of the most humble universal servants on the planet. And he, his only mission is to teach people how to wake up to love and peace and harmony. He does that through uh, empowering teachers like myself to then bring this wisdom to you. I will be offering wisdom and teachings today from this book, Divine Transformation. And in this book, okay, Yvonne, could you please give me a time update? In this book, I'm going to read a couple of pages. This is on page 111, and then I will offer what's called the Divine Transmission. This is chapter three, divine transformation for your relationships and beyond. Millions of people have good relationships. At the same time, millions of people have challenging relationships. Most people have good relationships and some challenging relationships. Let me ask you a few questions. Do you have true love? Do you have a good relationship with your spouse or your life partner? Do you have good relationships with your boyfriend or girlfriend? Do you have good relationships with your children? Do you have good relationships with your parents? Do you have good relationships with your colleague or your boss? To practice is to increase your intelligence, wisdom, knowledge, and practical techniques. To practice is to transform your life, organizations, counties, cities, Mother Earth, and all universes. To practice is to align your heart and soul to the divine's heart and soul. Recall my teaching in every book, practice is the key. Explaining and discussing are important, but explaining is not enough. Action is key, practice is action. Action is experience. Experience is transforming all life. If you want to know if a pair of sweet, taste it. If you want to know if plastic work, practice works, experience it. So why did he say this? Because I'm about to offer you from his book an incredible treasure. It is called a soul mind body transplant. This transplant is one called the soul mind body transplant of divine blessings. What are divine blessings? They are not human blessings. They are the divine, God's light, love, forgiveness, compassion, his blessings. Literally, when you receive this transmission, if you choose to receive it, it's up to you, you'll be given that choice. When you choose to receive this transmission, it will literally, it's a golden light ball and it will come to your soul. When you turn it on, it will expand out the divine's blessings, clearing whatever relationship blockages you ask it to clear. No time to go into full explanation on this for anybody that's new. Continue to come back, you'll learn more. We will apply the four power technique. But first, I wish to transmit this power to you. And I gotta locate where it was at. Thank you for your patience. Okay. So, where you are at, sit up straight. 
Put your feet flat on the ground if you can. Back away from the back of the chair. Place uh, your hands over your lower abdomen. Prepare to receive. Touching your tongue gently to the roof of your mouth. Squeeze your anus for about three seconds. This completes the microcosmic circuit in your body, allowing you to receive the highest frequency and blessings as they're about to be offered. If you do not wish to receive, just tell God, I don't want to receive. Very simple. Dear Master Shah, through the authority transmitted to me to offer this blessing from your book to all of the students online, all those that watch this video in the future, as appropriate, divine order. Divine rainbow light ball, rainbow liquid spring of divine blessing, soul transplant. To all those on the line, watching now, all those in the future that watch this as appropriate. It's ready. Transmission. Divine order, divine rainbow light ball, rainbow liquid spring of divine blessings, mind transplant. As appropriate. Transmission, divine order, divine rainbow light ball, divine rainbow liquid springs of divine blessings, body transplant, as appropriate. Transmission, divine order, divine rainbow light ball, divine rainbow liquid spring of divine blessings, soul, mind, body transplants join as one. Hey, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, hey, yeah, yeah, yo. Turn on 24-7. Transmission. Okay. You are all very, very blessed. I'll do a quick soul reading so you know exactly what you received. How? This is the divine. You are all blessed beyond measure. Countless lifetimes are spent to receive a treasure of this nature. The Divine's blessings are my blessings. It is as if I open my mouth and you are showered with love. My love melts all of your blockages. All you need to do, my children, is trust. This treasure carries my Shen, Qi, and Qing. My soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter. What does this mean? Is your soul, heart, mind, energy, and matter at the same level as mine? Of course not. Mine has now been transmitted to your soul. And if you practice as your beloved spiritual father has taught, then you will receive huge benefits. If you want to know if it works, practice. How, how, how. Thank you, Divine. Okay, so let us practice. Repeat after me. Dear Divine, dear Tao, dear Source, dear all holy beings in heaven, I love you, honor you, bow to you. Please come to sit in my body. Please bless me to clear my self-love blockages. Wherever they reside, in my body. I am so grateful. Thank you. Continue to repeat. Dear all souls, in this lifetime and all lifetimes, if I have harmed you, caused you to not experience unconditional love for yourself, I deeply, deeply apologize from the bottom of my heart I never would cause that upon anybody if I truly understood it. I have learned my lessons and I sincerely apologize and ask for your forgiveness. 
to all the souls, mothers, fathers, peers, religious organizations, any teachings I have ever received wrong information from about divines, unconditional love, love for myself, I offer you my unconditional forgiveness and I release you of your karmic debt to me. Let us all join together in love, peace, and harmony to achieve complete love of self and release the blockages that keep us from loving ourselves. Finally, dear my rainbow light ball for self-love, rainbow light ball for divine blessings, please turn on, bless me to increase my self-love. We're going to chant divine rainbow light ball increases my self-love. Let us chant together. Divine rainbow light ball increases my self-love. Divine rainbow light ball increases my self-love. You should all still be sitting as, uh, as uh, informed through your service with your lower hands on your lower abdomen. Place one hand on your heart center, leave the other one on your lower abdomen. Eyes closed, visualizing rainbow light coming in from 360 degrees, as well as from inside your body where you receive this treasure, radiating out rainbow light ball 360 degrees, clearing the blockages. That is your visualization, let us continue. Divine rainbow light ball, Clear my self-love blockages, divine rainbow light ball. Bless my self-love blockages, divine rainbow light ball. Clear my self-love blockages, divine rainbow light ball. Clears my self-love blockages. Divine rainbow light ball, bless my self-love blockages. Divine rainbow light ball, clears my self-love blockages. Divine rainbow light ball, clears my self-love blockages. Divine rainbow light ball. Bless my self-love blockages. Divine rainbow light ball clears my self-love blockages. Divine rainbow light ball blesses my self-love blockages. You continue to chant silently or out loud if you are in a place you can and I will do a third eye reading as to what is happening at this time. At this time, it looks like each of your bodies has billions of miniature rainbow light balls, each of them spinning in each of the cellular structures of your body. There is rainbow light balls following the DNA pathway up the spirals, clearing the blockages at the DNA RNA level, releasing and reversing lifetimes of blockages. There are rainbow light balls coursing through the channels of the physical heart that have been blocked for many, many lifetimes. There is a great deal of blockages for every soul that is present in the physical heart as a result of the blockages in the message center heart chakra. These physical heart blockages have the impact of weakening the vessels, weakening the arteries and the capillaries they have the result of increasing high blood pressure and creating 
unnecessary imbalance in the fire and water that creates a balance of emotions. There are many that hold on to fear, fear of being loved. There are countless rainbow light balls that are running through and about the entirety of the incredible labyrinth of nerves, blood, blood vessels, urinary tract and so forth associated with the kidneys and the water regions of the body clearing great fear associated with being loved by the divine this rainbow light ball carries such pure and high frequency that it is emanating messages outside of your body to other souls that you are worthy that you are prime and ripe to receive their love. It is clearing the receptors in your heart, in your mind. It is literally scrubbing away the receptors that did not allow the receiving of love messages towards you and to you, coming from both internal and external sources. There are mind blockages that many of you have held on to karmic blockages that are being addressed by this rainbow light ball it is truly an extraordinary blessing that each of you are receiving send your greatest love to divine to god open your heart open your heart the divine's love is pouring into you to clear these blockages open your heart open your heart receive the unconditional love receive God's unconditional love divine blessings divine blessings divine blessings Divine blessings, divine blessings, divine blessings, divine blessings, divine blessings, divine rainbow light bulb. Blesses yourself, love. Divine rainbow light bulb. Blesses myself, 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 love. Please forgive me. I forgive myself, please forgive me, I forgive myself, please forgive me, I forgive myself, please forgive me, divine rainbow light bulb. Please forgive me, I forgive myself. Please forgive me, I forgive myself. Please forgive me, I forgive myself. Please forgive me. I forgive myself. I want you to visualize your soul coming into your body. 
I'd like you to bow down to your soul. Ask forgiveness for impacting your soul's soul journey by accepting false teachings and by offering false teachings by not accepting love from others from those that tell you I love you you are worthy you are good enough please ask for forgiveness from your soul for not opening up your heart please ask for forgiveness from your soul for not hearing its guidance please ask forgiveness from your soul for not paying attention to its love for you receive now your soul's love it is radiating all that it has to you its pure connection its pure heart meld with your soul stand up become one with your soul it is radiating the rainbow light golden light the light of the divine feel smile into being one with your soul feel its love feel its forgiveness feel its purity and connection to the divine you are one ha 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 thank you thank you thank you everybody please feel your body pay attention to any experiences that you may have had and please share them we have about five minutes left before Facebook completes so please share The soul reading was very amazing. The third eye images of what was occurring with the rainbow light ball as we were chanting was truly extraordinary. Even, uh, you know, I've, I've known of the, the exceptional power of the rainbow light balls, but I haven't actually um, done a practice like this with a group to experience that power. I have to say, it was quite extraordinary. So everyone, please share whatever your experiences was. And so in the meantime, I will respond to some of the comments from the earlier readings. Tina, he says, Dear Master Paul, your readings has touched my heart deeply. I am in tears. I have always been afraid of screwing up my child's life. Thank you for bringing the clarity and the divine's love to me. You are welcome. Suki says, Beloved Master Paul, I humbly express my gratitude for your deep insight and guidance from the divine. Truly cannot bow down enough. We all bow down to the divine. Just a servant. Thank you. Okay, and so Suki acknowledges that she is uh, feeling great, great uh, light in her body, feeling tingling from the divine's light. Kristen says, uh, excuse me, Yvonne says she felt heartache and some scraping. So wonderful, some, some old uh, stuff leaving. Uh, actually, whenever you feel uh, any sharpness in the heart, and don't always jump to heart attack. It could be actually very, very valuable. Uh, often it's the message center opening up. I tell you, very often it's the message center opening up. You know, one of the ways you can tell if it's not the physical heart, are you drained of energy, right? Is your, is your arm hurting on the same side as your heart, the left side, okay? Um, do you feel exhausted? These all are, are things that are really associated with the heart. If you just feel a, a, a ting or a sharp sharpness, that's usually the message center opening up. Okay, so Monica says, Wow, Master Paul, greatest gratitude. I felt the subtle love energy, really physical, working on her third eye. 
I'm Keisha says Bloodmaster Paul. She felt so much pain in her body released. It was so emotional. Yeah, big releases. And then Anne Marie Harris says, Thank you. You're very welcome. Uh, Renee says, I felt my message center expanding and felt pulse and saw pulsating golden light around. Thank you so much for this amazing practice. You're so welcome, Renee. Thank you for sharing. And then Monica also comments that she felt a shower of beautiful, subtle energy around and especially her right side. Countless bow downs to the divine to you to master sean source all involved so thank you so much all for coming thank you for your sharing truly truly important this was such a powerful teaching today you received a huge transmission this is not a small thing so make sure you use this if you have any issues around self-love turn on your rainbow light ball turn on all your downloads and treasures and just chant divine love blesses me divine love heals and releases self-love blockages Anything along those lines are going to be perfectly fine, okay? So tomorrow, I will be continuing on the subject of opening the heart to love in relationships. I'm not sure which direction I'm going to go next. It might be for spouses. We'll find out tomorrow. But join me tomorrow, same time, same place. And make sure you share when we complete this. So thank you all so much for your sharing. I love you, love you, love you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.